uh, about a week, uh, maybe two weeks after the first repair video on this, and where we analyse that so the PSU appears to be a fault, but the front seems to boot up. And I've received this in the post. Don't worry, no adjusts on that side. It is, if we have a quick open, I'll have to take it off camera for a second to get it open without my female fans seeing my address, you know, and uh, queuing outside as they do when they find my address. It's, it's, a, it's a terrible problem, but something one must put up with. If one has to repair a solid scope, you know, it makes me. Oh, okay. Just trying to go in here. It makes me. Oh, what's in that? Christ. Right, it makes me so very attractive uh, to the opposite sex fixing oscilloscopes. So, anywho, in here we have. Uh, ooh. Uh, brand new power supply for it. An NS. NFS 40 uh, 7615J. Yes, nice load of uh, attention. Observe precautions for handling, as always. <coughs> uh, right, so there we go. A brand new power supply for the machine. Uh, yes, appears to have the same fittings and stuff. Just a slightly different layout, but it's got the same spec as the original. Hopefully, yeah, it's got the same screw holes by the looks of it. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, ow, get that one out, get this one in, and we'll come back and see if this bloody thing will work. We can but cross our fingers. So, I'll get that done, and I will be right back. Right, sometime later because these things are never as easy as the first seam. Gonna be a struggle getting this one out and the new one in, but they're in. Uh, this is the old one, and uh, just put this here. And you can see the resistors there that are blown. Uh, yes, on this side the board looks fine, but yes, that's a mess. So, new one is installed, double check, triple check, everything's uh, sort of wired upright, so all that's left to do is press, let's drop the camera down, fire, and hope to god that this thing works, let's have a look. Looking good. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Making strange noises. Oh, scaring me. Oh yeah. Power on self check past. Push menu off to proceed. And there we go. We have a successful boot. Excellent. Um, right, I need something to uh, do a very quick test. Let's get a battery and uh, do a quick test of this. See if, it's, uh, see if we can get it. Uh, see what we can get to do. Hang on, be right, right. back. Okay, I've got my probe uh, fixed up and I'm just going to quickly do a very rough gas test with the uh, battery here. I've already tested this just to make sure. And as you can see, oh. Hang on, I've been changing channels, haven't I? Um, so I, I've been playing with it, so... Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, there we go. It's, uh, it's going. Believe me, it does work. <laughs> I've been testing it uh, on this battery before I started playing with it. Uh, and it does work. Um, as you can see, I've uh, got the menu off. Print, which doesn't work, so I'm going to print attached. Uh, 
floppy disk is missing. Insert a floppy disk and drive again. Oh, it's because I'm trying to print menu off to remove this message. As you can see, it's all responding if I press channel 2. Goes to channel 2 on the screen. Uh, vertical position for channel 1. Sorry. Horizontal position. Channel 2. There we go, channel 2 is vertical, channel 1 is vertical, uh, horizontal position there, uh, delay, waveform off, I imagine that is. I have no idea how to use these properly, so there we go. Uh, DC, AC, ground, I'm going to have to uh, learn to set these up properly. Probe setup, current voltage, offset position. Alright, okay. Uh, I really can't say much more because I have not used a digital oscilloscope before. But, there we go. For the small price of a new PSU, this is a £600-£1,000 machine, as is. Uh, working. Floppy disk. Uh, I'm going to try floppy disk. See what happens. I don't know much about them because I don't... Uh, menu has a menu has a menu. Uh, obviously, I don't know how to use these, so I can't test the floppy disk. But we'll do that print facility. Just see what happens. Just see if the floppy drive does fire up. I'll have to come back. Okay, I'm just rebooting it. Uh, there we go. All passes. Copyright 2001. Menu off to proceed. Okay, uh, floppy drive. Now, obviously, at this point, I have not read the instruction manual. I don't know much about these, so all I've found so far is if you press, actually, just just hitting random keys just for just for the hell of it. Uh, right. If I put the fuck in, there's a save button here. I wonder if that does anything. Uh, save current setup to file. Okay. Uh, file utilities. This is going to need formatting, isn't it? Floppy disk is not compatible. Incompatible own format. Please insert PC compatible disk and play. Da, da, da. Press OK to confirm format. Press OK, confirm format to format this disk. Which that's the bottom one. Internal match stories has occurred to read write operation. This could be due to media or disk drive fault. If the media is removable, try moving and reinstalling or replacing it. And then try the previous operation. Hang on, I shall be right back. Right, I've tried this with the second floppy disk, which has been formatted a while ago on the PC over there. Uh, the older IBM one. So, I don't know yet if there's an error with the drive, because it doesn't seem to like this. It is going. But it doesn't seem to like these discs, so I don't know if it's a media error. Bear with the system. It's even if it's not running, it's not a problem for me because I'm not going to be using that aspect of it uh, that I know of. So, yet. So, anywho, uh, any off. Yes, apart from that, all seems to work fine. Where's menu off? Yes, we know that. I know that, you bugger. There we go. So, got loads to learn here. Uh, I'm just pressing buttons here just to play. Because I've never had anything like this before. So there you go. For the price of a new uh, passport unit on it. Uh, they got rid of it. Amazing, eh? So, good for me. So, uh, need to learn to use this thing. Now we can get to produce. So, thank you for Mark. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy.